Hey everybody, it's Jan here from VidGamingAct.com. Here we are today back in Dead Rising, grabbing the PP Collector Achievement. This is to photograph all the PP stickers in the game. This is uh, going to take a while, so uh, sit back and enjoy. But uh, we're starting this from a new game, so uh, once you land on the helipad, enter the safe house and photograph the bulletin board. Play through the intro until Otis opens up the vent. Once you can head on through, head on through, and once you're outside, make sure you take a picture of the exits. Uh, head through the warehouse and then head into Paradise Plaza. And once you're out here, take a picture of this bird on this clock. Once you get that, you want to head to the uh, toy store where we got the costume party achievement. It's like uh, right across the way right here. So uh, just break down the glass and you want to take a picture of the Servbot statue. You want to take a picture of it from its uh, crazy happy side right here. So uh, make sure you get that with the swirly eyes and such. Once you get that, head to the music store across the way right here, and then take a picture of this lovely standee. Once you get that, what you want to do is you want to head over to the uh, kids clothing store all the way over here. So just head down the plaza, watch out for zombies of course, and the reason we're starting this from the beginning is so we can try to avoid as many zombies as we can, but you can start this achievement ideally whenever, as long as you have enough time to photograph everything. Alright, once you get to the uh, clothing store, get a picture of the sign, and then head into the toy store right next door. Take a picture of these ominous looking teddy bears right here. Once you get that, head into the sports store, which is going to be right next door, and in here you want to take a picture of these two basketball hoops on the uh, banister of the staircase right here. So get those two, and uh, once you get those, we are going to head on over next door to the um, glasses store. And uh, once you're in here, take a picture of the clock. Just uh, get that in the center of the frame and snap away. You also get a bunch of XP for doing this, but of course I'm doing this once I'm level 50 because this is one of the last achievements I usually go for. But, uh, you know, up to you. Once you get that, head on next door and go to this kid's clothing store. A lot of kid's clothing stores in this part of the mall, but, uh, you know, it is Paradise Plaza after all. Uh, once you uh, get to that, just head on upstairs, and uh, we're going to go to the uh, jewelry shop right over here. And you want to take a picture of the vase or vase if you're fi if you're uh, fancy. So uh, just uh, get a picture of it. You have to snap it from the back right here. So just get that, and uh, then head on next door to the uh, coffee shop with our lovely infinite supply of orange juice. You can stock up too because we will be running around the mall a bunch. And uh, make sure you head on over to this uh, corner right here and uh, snap a pic of that sign. Once you grab that, we're gonna turn around and then head into this kid's clothing store across the way. There should be a Mega Man t-shirt right here. Take a picture of that, in case you ever wondered what Mega Man's autograph looked like, it looks like that. So as soon as you get that, what you want to do is you want to look for the back stairwell. This is the one that leads you to the bathrooms and is right here. Uh, slash the zombies and then take a picture of this poster right here. And you too can be the most popular kid at school. As soon as you get that, head all the way back down to the first floor and you want to head towards the fountain, which is by the exit. Pay no attention to those uh, ominous looking shadows suspended above us, but uh, keep heading through here. And uh, you can get any of the PP stickers that we missed along the way, but you want to make your way over to the music shop and take a picture of the sign right here. Once you get that, make sure you take a picture of the Resident Evil inspired Jill's sandwiches. Nice little homage right here. And uh, just to get a picture of the sign, and you too can have yourself a Jill sandwich. Once you get that, head into the movie theater. Once you are in here, take a picture of the two standees um, out in front right here. The Rat Man 1 and the Mega Man 2 standee. And uh, once you grab that, make sure you get the uh, sign in the middle right here on the E. There we go. Head on inside and then hang a left. You should see four movie posters here. All four of them are a PP sticker. You can fit two in a frame, so just uh, might as well knock two birds out with one stone. And uh, make sure you get those two. 
As soon as you do, head into the gift shop and then uh, get to the Rat Man standee right here. He's selling a bunch of frisbees apparently. And uh, then we are going to get uh, this Fox standee right here. And uh, we're going to get his uh, little brother inside the shop because, you know, every uh, movie theater needs two of the same standees like five feet away from each other. Once you get those two, just uh, exit the movie theater by uh, heading back the way you came. And uh, now we're going to head out into the park. I assume you know where everything is because you probably played the game a couple times before attempting this achievement. But uh, once you are out in the park, you want to head towards the picnic area, so hang a right. Then you want to jump on to the uh, shelter right here. Once you're on here, you want to go on top of it, and then you want to zoom into the clock tower, and then try to photograph this face of it. And you have to photograph the clock tower at three different angles. So once you get that, just hop off, and you want to head over to the lake in the middle of the park. So just head on over there, and you want to be on the far side of the lake, and you can get another angle of the clock tower there. And uh, there's going to be a lot of walking in this um, achievement, so you can make yourself some quick step if you don't want to walk super slow, but uh, honestly, uh, you don't need to waste the time making those drinks. Um, you can if you want to, if you absolutely hate walking. All right, snap the pick. If you need to recharge your batteries, just hit up a uh, photo store. There's going to be three in the game. There's one in Paradise Plaza right next to the warehouse, one in Wonderland Plaza on the second floor, and then there's one in the North Plaza, which is going to be uh, right next to the entrance. So uh, keep that in mind. You get 30 photos before your uh, camera battery uh, goes bad. But anyways, the next clock face angle is going to be right here in this uh, bed of flowers right here and I totally did not cut out me heading to the uh, Photoshop by the way but as soon as you get that head towards the maintenance tunnels just go over here in this opening of the wall and then just follow the tunnel until you get to a parking lot so uh, once you're here make sure you hang a right and you want to photograph a sign above the entrance it's going to read uh, 11 feet 5 inches which is the clearance I guess so get that, and as soon as you get that, we're going to get all of the PP stickers in the maintenance tunnels, which is uh, very, very um, difficult because, uh, you know, the maintenance tunnels is full of zombies and what have you. But uh, make sure you follow these directions so you don't get lost. As soon as you enter the tunnel, hang a right, and then just go straight. Try your best not to hit any propane tanks because you want to um, have your car last as long as possible. So uh, once you can turn right, turn right, and you have your first PP sticker here. All the PP stickers in the maintenance tunnels are going to be the flower trucks that you defuse the bombs um, in case 7-2 at. Spoilers, by the way. Uh, so keep that in mind. If you remember where all the truck locations are, you can uh, just do this off of memory. Or you can follow this guide. Uh, whatever's up to you. Alright, as soon as you get that, you want to take a left out of that little parking lot and then go straight until you hit a dead end. So just keep following the road until you hit the dead end. This is where we grinded out the zombie genocider achievement. And you can make sure you grab the truck right here. And uh, just uh, snap a pic of it. Careful for the zombies. They give you a bunch of trouble. But uh, right here is going to be the uh, PB sticker. It's always going to be the back of the truck. Alright, so you can switch out cars here, because uh, that convertible isn't looking too shabby. So pick up the uh, flower van, the only one you can drive, because all of them uh, have their tires slashed out, except for this one for some reason. Uh, make sure you uh, follow the path we just came from. Um, skip the exit right there, and just keep going straight. Try your best to do um, what I'm not doing, which is avoiding propane tanks. Uh, hang a left right here, and then uh, just keep going straight. There is the um, place where you get the maintenance tunnel key off to the right. Ignore that. Hang a left once you get to this T intersection, and keep going straight until you hit a dead end. Once you do that, you should find another parking lot with the next uh, truck. And make sure you don't park in front of it, obviously. Uh, give yourself some room to snap the photo. So... Jump out of the car, and then snap away, and you should get your PP sticker. Once you grab that, hop back into the van, or truck, or car, whatever. Uh, and then just head back the way we came. So I uh, try to back this thing up, and then uh, go the way we came. And this is definitely the hardest car to drive. Um, 
but uh, it lasts a long time, unlike the motorcycle, so uh, that's good. So go straight this time, once you get up here you're forced to take a left, take a left, and then ignore that turn and just head straight. And uh, then we are going to keep going until we hit another dead end. Ignore this turn right here because uh, there is a car right here and we can switch out the truck uh, in case it's taken a beating. But uh, this thing does last a while but I recommend switching out the car anyways. Plus uh, driving that thing is a huge pain because it's so slow and non-maneuverable. But hop in this car and then take that turn we were supposed to. And then head on straight until you hit another dead end. This is a pretty linear road, however it is a little windy in uh, case you get lost. Just keep staying on it, trying your best to avoid propane tanks. So uh, keep that in mind. And the uh, truck should be right here off this little turn right here. I'm going to park this car somewhere safe. And uh, make sure you snap the photo like that. Alright, and we should be down to one more. So hop back in the car and then follow this road. And uh, once again, try to avoid propane tanks and shopping carts because that can cause your car to flip over. And that's not good. So just going to keep following the road right here. There shouldn't be any turns to mess us up until this part. Once you get to this part, hang a left. And uh, then just keep on trucking down here. Once you uh, get to this roundabout, we're going to hang a left and then hang a left right here. Just uh, we're going to keep following this until we get to the parking lots, which is right here. Unfortunately, my car blew up here, but this was the last one. Uh, sadly, we had to walk out of the maintenance tunnels, but I cut that part out. You didn't want to see me struggle to walk through here. And if you have the maintenance tunnel key, you can just take one of the uh, many exits, but I was too lazy to get it, of course. So uh, whatever the case, you want to head back out into Leisure Park, and then you want to uh, hit up the food court entrance, which should start the next mission. However, we're just going to ignore it. We're going to leave uh, Brad uh, hanging by himself uh, while fighting Carlito. So uh, head on over to the food court right over here. Doesn't matter how um, you get here as long as you get here. Once you get here, we are going to ignore the fight and just snap photos. All the photos are going to be all of the restaurant signs. So first is the food court sign up here, and then you have this uh, cowboy standee off to the right. Get that. And uh, then we have the food court standee in the back. So make sure you grab that. It's going to be a moose head, or maybe it's a bull. Not totally sure. It's probably a bull. Yeah, it has horns. It is a bull. So grab that. And then finally grab all the restaurant signs. Food court is pretty simple in terms of what to photograph. So you get the taco shop and get the coffee shop. Because, you know, coffee goes well with tacos, right? I would totally put those two next to each other in a food court. Get to the burger place. So there we go. And then we are going to get the ice cream shop right up here. And uh, then we are going to uh, hit up the uh, Chinese food joint right here. Jade Paradise. It's Paradise of Jade. And uh, over here is going to be the pizza shop. Once you get that, we are going to head on over to uh, this place. It's like an Italian restaurant. And make sure you photo the picture of uh, Chris right here. I assume he looks like a Luigi to me, but, uh, you know, I didn't name the store. But uh, this place actually becomes a grocery store in Dead Rising 2, so we have that to look forward to in the future. Um, also take a picture of the statue in the back. Once you get that, make sure you kill Carlito and uh, help out Brad. Make sure you follow him through Alfresca Plaza, and the reason for that is he's the only way to, to uh, open up the entrance plaza. So uh, make sure you uh, continue the story in the food court, just uh, so you can have access to the entrance plaza. So head to Alfresca Plaza. You can let Brad uh, walk to the end by himself. He shouldn't be able to die because he is story-related. Uh, make sure you take a picture of the food court sign and then jump into the gym. We're going to get freaking swole in here. Uh, take a photo of those two posters right there. Make sure you get a picture of the banner in the background. And in case you uh, run out of batteries, you have to walk all the way back to Wonderland Plaza to uh, restock. So keep that in mind. Make sure you get a picture of this uh, weightlifting machine. I'm pretty sure I would know the uh, name for it if I actually lifted weights. Uh, make sure you get the treadmills. I know what these things are called. 
So get that. And finally, make sure you get the stationary bikes, which uh, are right next to the treadmills, of course. So uh, get the stationary bikes. I think it's the second one from the left that has the PP sticker. Very hard to see, but uh, get that. And finally, get these uh, posters behind the counter. Once you get those, you can leave and then just uh, cross the street and head on to the uh, glasses shop right around the corner. Not sure if there is a specific name for glasses shop. I think it's like an optics store or something. But uh, once you're in here, make sure you get the photograph of this dude who looks like a uh, deus ex. But uh, grab that and uh, then cross the street again to uh, this fancy store with uh, the fancy $4,000 high heels that you need to take a picture of. So get that, and uh, then we can head on to the fountain area. And here you want to take a photo of both uh, restaurants. So you have the cafe off to the left, as well as the hamburger joint off to the right. So coffee shop, photo the sign, and then um, hamburger joint, photo the um, left menu. So go over there and make sure you get the menu. You can check out all these expensive prices, like two fifty-five for a hamburger. Uh, they don't believe in the dollar menu, sadly. But uh, Brad should be at the exit right now, so you can head over to uh, Entrance Plaza. He should open up the gate, and you should have access to everything now. I recommend doing the PP stickers at this point in the game, simply because there's no zombies um, in the mall um, at this particular moment. So uh, what you want to do is you want to first hit up the toy store right here. It's going to be right next to the books uh, shop where you have to... Uh, meet Barnaby, but uh, there are those sinister teddy bears again, always watching. So make sure you get their photo. As soon as you get that, leave the shop and then head on over to um, this shop right here. It's another uh, fancy store, and uh, you got some more four thousand dollar high heel shoes that you need to take a photo of. They're so fancy; it's uh, the thing you see first and foremost as soon as you enter. Uh, head on over to the camping store right next door, and uh, there should be a tent in here. Make sure you photograph it from this angle, and uh, there we go. And uh, you can grab yourself an ugly camo jacket if you care to partake. Head on over to the entrance. There are actually zombies over here, but uh, it's really manageable um, if you're doing it at this time. Make sure you clear the uh, entrance so you don't get any trouble and snap a photo of where the door was opened. I guess you can call this ground zero of Dead Rising. So as soon as you get that, we are going to head on upstairs and uh, you want to make sure you head to the front and uh, you're going to snap a photo of the giant bumblebee statue uh, that's on top of a clock. So get a picture of that. And uh, once you grab that, we want to head over to the music shop. Now, I actually got this uh, PP sticker in the last shot. You can get multiple PP stickers in one shot if you frame it right, so uh, keep that in mind. But in case you didn't get the frame right, you can grab this uh, music standee right here. It's the same one as earlier, just a different store. Uh, over here is going to be that Fox standee from earlier, because this store not only sells... Um, uh, CDs, it also sells uh, movies, I guess. So keep following this until you can hang a left right here, head into Ned's Knickknackery, which is going to be the antique shop. Uh, you want to photograph the crown in the middle of the store. You have to get it from this angle, so try to frame it right and snap the photo. As soon as you get that, head on over to the jewelry shop next door. And then you have another vase, or a Voss if you're fancy. Remember that. If you're fancy, you have to call it a Voss. And make sure you get the uh, PB sticker. Once again, you have to photograph it from the back. And as soon as you get that, head on over to the uh, makeup place all the way at the end. And uh, it's quite the walk, so be sure to head on over there. Alright, once you're here, make sure you uh, snap a pic of this uh, poster in the background right here. And as soon as you get that, we can leave. You can finish the story mission if you want to. Uh, I got lazy, but whatever the case, head through Alfresca Plaza and head through the food court and head into Wonderland Plaza. Once you're here, you have another makeup shop. Just ignore it. That one doesn't have anything of value, at least for this achievement. 
head on over here and take a photo of this giant bunny. And uh, it's going to be one PB sticker down of this plaza. As soon as you get that, jump into the playground. There's going to be two PB stickers here. One in the giant playhouse and then one at the windmill. So get those two and then get the windmill right on over here. Once you get those, we are going to jump the fence again and then head into the clothing store right here called Small Fry Duds. There's going to be two PP stickers in here. You have this of this kid with a mullet. Make sure you get his photo or her photo. Not totally sure. Um, but uh, head on over here and then snap a pic of this uh, ornamental ball right here. And as soon as you get that, you want to leave and keep heading down this way. Ignore all the zombies. and uh, Or you can kill them, you know, up to you. Uh, but, uh, you know, I like not wasting time. Head into this uh, part of the uh, play area and get this playhouse right here. Looks like it's made out of Legos. Um, but as soon as you get that, just uh, head on to the other side of the mall. And uh, over there is going to be another giant bunny statue that uh, we can take a photo of. So walk on over there, and there's uh, nothing else really of significance for the first floor. There's two more PP stickers down here, but we'll get them in a little bit. We're just going to focus on the second floor right now because obviously we have to head back to the first floor when we're done. So, you know, why not? So take a picture of the giant bunny and then take the stairs all the way up to the second floor. Bunch of zombies on the staircase. Staircases are always a pain in horror games. But uh, anyways, once you get up here, you're going to stay on the right past the bookstore and uh, take a photo of the sign. And there is your next PP sticker. Keep following this uh, path until you get to Coco Nuts, which is a sporting store. And uh, once you're there, take a picture of that sign as well. And uh, this store has more significance in the second Dead Rising, because that's where, like, a good amount of survivors appear. So get a photo of that, and then we're going to turn around and take a picture of the uh, Space Rider machine. There's going to be three um, here. You can maybe fit it into one frame if you get the framing right, or you can split it up into three photos. Up to you. There is a Photoshop on this side in case you need to charge your camera too, so keep that in mind. But uh, you want to get the alien as well as the marquee in the middle, and then the astronaut on the left. And at any time you run out of batteries, make sure you restock because, once again, there's only three places in the mall where you can charge your uh, camera, which uh, really sucks. And I'm glad they took it out after this game because there's no point in having uh, an arbitrary camera battery like that. Anyways, we're going to jump down and head into this kid's clothing store. A lot of kid's clothing store uh, in this mall. Um, you'd think it was a mall designed specifically for children. But uh, take a picture of this shirt right here. It's going to be the one with the target on it. Not sure why they made that a PP sticker. I guess they ran out of ideas. But as soon as you get that, we're going to uh, go on the staircase. You want to stop about halfway on this staircase. And then you want to photograph the astronauts right here. This is a very tricky photo to get elsewhere because the rail is in the way. So make sure you get it from the staircase. Uh, pro tip right there. And the last one in Wonderland Plaza is going to be the sports memorabilia store right next door. So head on in there and make sure you get a photo of this random baseball team right here. And I'm pretty sure this has some significance to the game creators, but uh, I wouldn't know. Um, as soon as you get that, you want to hang a right and then just follow this way. You want to take the exit over to North Plaza. All right, once you're in North Plaza, what you want to do is you want to hit up the grocery store first. So just try to weave your way through all these zombies. And it's a lot of me getting messed up by Otis, who is obviously the worst enemy in this game. Worse than all the zombies and psychopaths put together. But uh, make sure you get a photo of the grocery store sign and then head into the grocery store. There's going to be three PP stickers here. They are all the uh, specialty um uh, departments. So get the pharmacy, it's going to be the pill bottle, and then get to the seafood sign, and finally get the meat sign. So uh, just go over here. I like jumping on this uh, refrigerator table of meats. Do, do those things have um, a specific name? Like those uh, refrigerated tables that are in the middle of grocery stores? Not sure. Anyone know uh, 
let me know because uh, I would like to increase my knowledge. But uh, once you get all those, exit the grocery store and then head to the right. You have a knife shop right here. Take a photo of this stand with a bunch of uh, um, stuff from a, another Capcom game from the PS2 days. I think it's like Sword of Rome or something like that. It uh, clearly didn't do well enough to get a sequel, sadly. But as soon as you photograph everything there, just head on to the other side of North Plaza. Just uh, follow the walkway until you see this sign that tells you to go to the hunting store. So head to the hunting store. And if you're doing this from the beginning, you might have to fight Cletus. So get ready for a psychopath boss fight, if anything. But before you head on inside, take a photo of this American flag, because nothing is more American than firearms. And take a photo of this uh, standee right here. Head into the store. Um, I had to fight Cletus, but I cut that out because, you know, you don't want to see me get obliterated. Uh, take a photo of these uh, two um, deer uh, heads right here. There's one in the front, one in the back. And uh, once you get those two, head on out to the entrance of the North Plaza. So uh, just follow that hallway we just went down and then hang a left. So uh, still getting messed up by Otis, as you can see. He is, uh, he is the scourge of this game. But uh, once you are out in the entrance, just head to the fountain in the middle and then photograph the statue um, right in the middle. So just uh, take the walkway up and snap a photo right here. There's also a snack right there in case you need to eat. You can hit up the photo store if you need to charge your batteries out here as well. But uh, whatever the case, take a photo of the hardware store sign and then head into the hardware store. There's going to be two PP stickers out here and these are the two um, last ones for now so uh, that's that's always good take a photo of this store directory behind the counter and then finally get a photo of this uh, map in the gardening section which is going to be way back here so hop on up here and hop on over here and then you have this lovely map of all these different types of flower pots you can buy all right, that's going to be the last one for now, so just uh, kill time until 1 p.m. of September 20th. So once that time happens, head on out to Paradise Plaza, and then the cultist should appear. Now, what you want to do is you want to get kidnapped by these guys. So uh, just uh, walk into a crowd of them and then not fight them. Let them kidnap you. They should take you to a secret room. Um, they'll also take all of your clothes and weapons. Um, so uh, keep that in mind. You want to be a pretty high level when you do this so you don't get like destroyed here. Uh, once you're here, make sure you find a weapon uh, and then you want to go in the middle of this room. They should all be um, out here having a nice little cro congregation. But uh, make sure you get a nice weapon and you want to kill all of them. As soon as you do, there's two PP stickers here. Uh, there is this fox standee off to the left right here. Make sure you get that. And then there's their giant uh, banner right in the center of the place. Make sure you get that. That should be the last one. Once you finish that up, you should pop your achievement. It's going to be for 20 gamer score, just like every other achievement in the game. And that's all there is to it.